So the primary objective of this OECD is to come up with the issues that are presently being there with respect to this particular tax evasion or shifting of the profits from one place to another in order to reduce the taxes and also come up with the suggestions. So identify the issues and then come up with the suggestions. Uh, so that's what being the uh, primary objective. So they, they, they did a lot of uh, studies by looking at the business structures and transactions and arrangements that have been made by the government or the, the businesses. And they have identified various issues around them. They've also came up with uh, the suggestions. They're called as uh, BIPs action plans or uh, action uh, plans or consider BIPs action plans. So as I mentioned, the businesses, they were trying to erase the, the base of the particular profit that they have earned. And they're trying to shift the profit to another place. So erase the base and then shift the profits from the country where the taxes are being less or no taxes. So the way they were doing is through transfer uh, mispricing or by taking the advantage of double taxation avoidance agreements laws, it may be legitimate. Treaty shopping. So wherever you have the treaties which are favorable to countries, so favorable to the business, that's what they were trying to utilize and then shift the, shift the profits or inflating the invoices. So when they have companies or branches in various countries, so they were doing transactions between these companies which are located in various countries and then try to inflate the invoice values so that the situation becomes favorable to the business to minimize the tax. Many of them were also doing binami transactions and they're also trying to do the round tripping. So company may have uh, the branches or subsidiaries established in various countries. Through those various subsidiaries, they were trying to round trip the transaction and then bring the transaction back or the money back to the origin by erasing the base so that you can actually manipulate the transaction form and then thereby get the benefit of taxes. So as I mentioned, in order to address this, the OECD came up with various action points. They are called as BIPs action points. So they came up with these 15 points in order to handle that particular issue that they've been uh, facing. So now the OECD was only initially found by 20 major countries. And then they later approached various other countries on the globe. And they were trying to encourage them to become the members because it cannot be handled by one country or few countries. This issue is there with the companies across the globe, with their various uh, business forms in, other, in, in and around the globe. So to address this or to handle this issue, they have to have all the countries participation in this arrangement. So that is the reason why they approached, the OECD approached all the countries to become members. Most of them, I think as of today, it's about 135 to 140 countries have become members. And some countries have accepted to implement the entire full 15 action uh, points or action plans. And most of the other countries that they have uh, agreed to implement few, uh, one, a few action plans out of this 15. So the selective four uh, minimum standards or four plans that are actually given as a cho choice to the various countries. So UAE also is part of this particular arrangement. It, it is a member of OECD now. And UAE has agreed to implement four action plan, plans. So the four action plans are those which have uh, been elected in orange color. Uh, say to so the counter harmful tax practices more effectively to implement and prevent any treaty abuses. The, the treaties that have been entered between the countries in order to encourage the businesses to have their uh, setup being done. So there are various uh, tax treaties entered by the countries. So in order to prevent any abuse of those treaties by the businesses, so what are the changes that are required to be done? And 13 and 14 points are also been agreed by the UAE to implement. So this is what with respect to BEPS action plans. And after this initial set of 15 plans, and then later, they have also uh, studied more and then came up with more suggestions. So that is actually called as BIPS 
So in this, what they did is in order to address this specific uh, uh, business specific or company specific issues, they came up with two pillar uh, plans. Pillar one and pillar two. Pillar one is specifically talking about or targeting the uh, MNEs or larger MNEs, which has got a turnover of uh, 20 billion euros or more at the group level. So these uh, uh, groups, what they will do is uh, once the, the taxes have been actually paid by uh, the company in the respective countries, they will look at the effective tax rate. Uh, the, for the MNC, the large MNCs, after completing all the tax payments, the remainder profit of the groups, the remainder profits of the group, 25%, up to 25% of that particular profit will again be reallocated to the uh, countries. So how they're going to do it? Now they will take the group level profits and see that the group level profit excess of 10% margin will be taken as the remainder profit. And this profit, out of this profit, 25%, up to 25% of the profit amount will be redistributed to the countries where they have their businesses, the companies, businesses, or customer basis located. So this will be distributed to those countries. And as part of the uh, pillar one. And pillar two is going to be targeted or specific to the MNEs again which are not falling in that particular category of 20 billion euros turnover or more, but this is a second category where the group level turnover is 750 million euros or more. So any group company that has got a group turnover of 750 million euros or more will fall under this pillar two category, wherein if the effective tax paid by the group in total, if that is less than 15%, the effective tax paid by the group on all the companies together of that particular group, if it is less than 15%, so they will make it up to 15% and then distribute the difference amount of tax among the countries again. So this is the uh, arrangement that they came up with. Pillar one, pillar two, this is specific to the groups or MNEs which have got a turnover of 20 billion or more, pillar one, and which have got 50, 750 million some euros or more in pillar two. And UAE will also be implementing this, but it is not effective yet. Uh, so maybe in 2024, this arrangement will become effective, in which case any companies which are falling mm -hmm. in that particular group will have to comply with this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.